On Tuesday, October the 16th, Charles University awarded honorary degrees to two world-renowned scientists. Professor Dr. Frank Roloff de Burr of the University of Amsterdam and Professor Robert D. Goldman, PhD, of Northwestern University in the United States. Both men are known not only for their extensive contributions in the fields of physics and cell and molecular biology, respectively, but also for long ties with Charles University and researchers at the school. When I was reading about your career, one of the things that is fascinating or that struck me is that your communications with Charles University began when the Iron Curtain was still up. Um, I wanted to ask how that collaboration uh, began, uh, what it was like in the early years, and I suppose how things have changed. Well, it began with um, that Professor Tchaikovsky, who is still uh, just retired, but he's still working at the Department of Physics, that he came to Amsterdam, and in this way it gradually started. But that was before, four years earlier, earlier than the turnover, I think. And then it was not so easy to come, so, but he managed to come to Holland, and uh, gradually more people came. And uh, in the course of years, the number of people that visit us has, has become uh, much, much larger. So eventually we got around 100 publications together. So that shows how, I think, I don't know exactly how many people came to Amsterdam. But after it, it became easy. We had some money and they had their own money, so that was not a real problem. This kind of work is not just about the facility, that it's about the people. Uh... Yeah, that's right, because I, I think the, um, we had the facilities and everything was okay, but we were not unique, unique in that sense. I think most laboratories in, in Holland were like that. So, but it was necessary, of course. And then we had some special things, like this high field magnet, which I mentioned, which was very important for many people, so that was an extra focus. But as I said, it's, um, if you have the infrastructure, it's not sufficient to have the successful cooperation. And starting with uh, Vladimir Sokhovsky, the people brought their own, in the beginning also own samples, and later also own samples. So we worked together, and it was also their ideas and their energy that made it successful. I mean, it was not so much that I did this, I just uh, worked together with them. But um, it is, uh, that's what I wanted to emphasize in my, uh, in my talk, that it's uh, mainly, or for an enormous part, the Czech uh, contribution to, to the cooperation that made it successful. You spoke very nicely about uh, cooperation here with Charles University over the years. I know it's been extensive. Uh, could I ask you just to, to repeat a little bit of a little bit of what you said about the university and your cooperation over the years? The university has, uh, has sponsored uh, with Professor Rashka. Uh, I counted up at at least ten conferences, uh, international conferences. Uh, many of them uh, supported by EMBO, and uh, they've been a uh, very important sort of catalyst for uh, research in the area of the, cell, of the cell's nucleus. Because it's only within the last 10 to 20 years that it's been realized that there are many subcompartments within the nucleus that have, besides DNA, that have very important functions. And I think what uh, the, the, that has happened here is brought together people that I've, I met. Um, several collaborations were initiated here, I made several quite a few scientific friends and new colleagues and young students too. So it's, it's, uh, it's very exciting. And it looks like there may be another meeting here next June and I'll, I'll gladly come back because I also love this, the city. The internet has taken over a lot of the interpersonal contacts that uh, used to take place. But I still find that one-on-one uh, -on -one meeting people, talking to them in an informal way is a very important way to make science move forward, especially in my field, much of which is very descriptive and requires a lot of imaging in the microscope, and all this uh, requires conversations, not just meetings by Skype or some other means. So I think that's a very important thing. And, and Prague plays a major role in bringing people together.